When it's that time of the month, I crave pickles. I will literally drink pickle juice. Every size you could imagine, pickles, they're in there. Hey you guys, I'm Olivia Colpo and I'm gonna give you a refrigerator tour. So let's start with the top. These are pure collagen and I was taking these every morning because I was trying to tell if it did something to my skin and I'm gonna get back to you on that one because I don't know yet. This is a greens soup that I buy. It's all just kale, Swiss chard, blended together with salt, herbs, and it's delicious. Um, these are pickles. I have a lot of pickles. Um, this is clearly my chocolate drawer area. I'm obsessed with chocolate. I have M&M chocolate. I have every Lily's chocolate. This is a low sugar, actually no sugar, low carb chocolate that I absolutely love. It doesn't feel as, it feels kind of like a guilty, guilt-free pleasure, so I'm just gonna go with that. But moving on to healthier things, I put green superfood by Amazing Grass in all of my smoothies along with chia seeds. And then also these are sort of like, these are like miracle noodles. They're shirataki pasta. These are an absolute saver if you don't wanna have a high carb pasta dish. Definitely a low carb vibe in my refrigerator. That's usually what works for me, low carb, high fiber, and lots of protein. So in the morning, I usually start out my day with berries. That's why I have tons of berries. I'm actually making a sangria though tomorrow, so that's why I have extra today. Back here I have ground turkey that I just made using taco seasoning. So I love to make this, it's so healthy, obviously low carb, high, high protein. And then I put it on a Gigi cracker, which if you're not familiar with Gigi crackers, these are great for toppings and they're very high in fiber. So I follow this from Tanya Zuckerbrot, who is the founder of F-Factor, which is a low carb, high protein diet. Um, which is why she's absolutely shredded. And that's what works for me when I'm trying to be really healthy. Here we have chicken, um, lots of, again, a, a lots of protein, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt. Something else that I like to do with the cottage cheese is put it on a Gigi cracker and microwave it with Rao's Ar Arabiata sauce. These are kind of my tricks that I go to when I'm actually preparing or seeing people in real life, for example, which I haven't been. So um, to be honest with you, I've probably been just ordering the pizza instead slash making real pizza at home anyway, because why would we be healthy when we're not going anywhere? Speaking of which, down here is my takeout drawer. So last night I apparently was having Thai food for an army. That's why I was by myself <laughs> and ordered like 10 different types of meals. Down here, I have a bunch of cheeses and charcuterie stuff. This is because I have friends coming over tomorrow and I love a cheese board. Another thing I have back here, which is so good, is this bitchin' sauce, which is great with um, carrots. Almost forgot milks. I actually, knock on wood, I love regular milk. That's why I have kind of cheese, Greek yogurt, sour cream. But I know some people have sensitive stomachs and I've been trying to be more conscious even about the sugar in regular milk. So I use almond milk in the mornings or my sister drinks the oat milk. I think that's all for here. I'm gonna show you the freezer. To be honest with you, I have not opened the freezer in a while, but let's see what it's looking like in here. Holy, whoa. Okay, there's a lot in here. Um, this is for my dog when he's teething. This is just a little popsicle that you stick in the freezer with water in it so it will get cold and it's soothing. I have chicken that I'm using for later. I have a lot of bone broths. You guys, this is amazing. These bone broths are absolutely delicious and you really do feel the difference. It's great for your gut if you are feeling like you haven't had, maybe, maybe you're having a stomach ache or you feel like you have inflammation. This is great, maybe you're hungover. Honestly, this is a great trick. But speaking of being hungover, these are smuckers that are definitely a late night. Like I've just come home and I'm not gonna make anything, but I want a little <laughs> blast from the past. Also salt and straw. I am obsessed with salt and straw, not healthy. But Halo Top is like an alternative that's a little healthier along with this so delicious dairy-free fudge bars. 
These are 60 calories for one. This category to me is a little confusing because it's the anti-inflammatory slash inflammatory section, hence the 1942. This is what me and my friend Jasmine Sanders drank the other night to celebrate the Sports Illustrated cover launch, which we were very excited about. And then up here are my little smart sweets. These are three grams of sugar per bag. These gummies are absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with these and you don't have to freeze them, but sometimes it's nice to switch it up. Trust me, I have them in here and I have them in the pantry. And then these are my M&M stash. For those of you who know me really well, you do know, I have a sucker for my peanut M&Ms. I have them frozen as well as regular. Okay, you guys, there you have it. That is my very low carb, high protein, high fiber refrigerator. I hope you learned something and don't forget to subscribe below. Bye.